What's going on guys? It is cold and crappy out here, which can only mean that it is time for the best weekend of the year. I'm here in Tinley Park for the Tinley Park NARBC Reptile Expo. Inside you will find more reptiles, snakes, lizards, turtles, frogs, which aren't reptiles, they're amphibians, but you know, you get what I mean. So for this NARBC, I'm gonna dole out a whole new batch of Rattle On Awards. I'm gonna bring in some really special guest judges, and we're also gonna have a couple of new categories to the Rattle On Awards. Let's go in and check out Tinley Park NARBC right here in Tinley Park, Illinois, October 2023. I can just continue talking or, you know, roll the intro. I'm Dave Kaufman, and these are my reptile adventures. So one of the things that I really love about coming to the NARBC Expo is seeing what everybody got here, especially the kids. And what is your name? Gwendolyn. Gwendolyn, I love that name. And what have you got there? Snake. You have a you have a ball python. What is the genetics of your ball python? <laughs> Double head. Double head. Clown. Clown. Pied. Pied. And you know how I know that? Because I was the one who sold it to you. What are you going to name your new snake? Dave. I love it. That is the most perfect name ever. Enjoy your new snake. Thank you. All right, so what's your name? Alex. Alex, and what did you get, Alex? I got a ghost corn snake. A ghost corn snake. These are so cool. Is this your first corn snake? No, this is my fifth. Fifth? I love colubrids. Colubrids are like my thing. I love corn snakes. I'm wanting to get into breeding them. They're awesome. very exciting. Awesome. And just all around wonderful, underestimated snake in my I opinion. Agree. I agree. She's just the biggest baby too. What is your name? Dominic. Dominic. And Dominic, you got something super cool, super unique. Unfortunately, we don't have time to show it off. I'm kidding. Here we go. You got an adult pair of file snakes. These are awesome. Found these in West Africa. And uh, now, have you worked with file snakes before? No, these are my first one. When I was like a little kid, I saw them. So I've liked them since. I finally got a chance to get like a good sized pair of them. So these are your first ones? Yep. That is awesome. And I just ran into Wild Charles, but What's we're not here on? for Wild Charles. We're here for your niece. Right here. Who has gotten, what have you got? Lizards. Lizards. Have you taught her nothing? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how to say it. Euromastics. Euromastics. And they're so special. Think kind. of like Europe and sticks with a ma in the end. Euro ma sticks. Euromastics. 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 Yeah, don't listen to me. Those are really cool. And I really love this particular species' tail because they have the funkiest tails. That's cool. And you got a pair. And is this your first Euromastics you've ever gotten, ever? And then there's Nikki, who is one of my Patreon supporters, which I really appreciate. What did you get here? I got two female diamond pair terrapins. Whoa! And those are ornate diamondback terrapins. Look at those guys. Well, we see one. Let's pop that top. Look at those two girls. I think the ornate. I, I, oh, they're the pinnacle. I, right, there you go. That's exactly what I was going to say, pinnacle. Agree. I was never going to figure out that word <laughs> pinnacle, but, you know, here we are. Those are amazing. Okay, so, brackish water. Yep. Kind of warmish. Yeah. And lots of vegetation in the water because they will use that cover. No problem. Did you know that before I said well, that? I learned from the best, so yeah, now I do. You learned from Dan the Turtle Man? You. Oh, yeah, yeah. Good, good, good. <laughs> good, 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 good. And it wouldn't be Tinley without running into these two awesome people. Tell everybody your name. Alina. Tell everybody your name. Aiden. And what do you guys got? So here is Rhea. She's um, an Argentine boa. We got her from Emily and Ed. Nice. That is beautiful. You know that Argentines are my favorite of all the boas? Yeah. And Ed, what do you got there? And I have Hera here, here. Ivy's baby. We got him from Biden Burchek. Brian, we love you. Wow. That is fantastic. You know what? It wouldn't be Tinley without seeing you guys. You guys are awesome. You guys buy me pizza every time that I'm here, and it is awesome. Love you guys. Enjoy your snakes. So we are actually starting out here on day two. Yesterday was an 
absolute madhouse in here. It was so noisy, I decided to film all of this on day two. But last night at the US Ark auction, something very special happened, and it was the first time that it's ever happened here at the Tinley Park NARBC. Dearly beloved and honored guests, we are gathered here today in the church of Brian Potter. <laughs> to join Adeline Paloma Yate Robinson and Christopher William Billmeyer in the blessed union of marriage. Adeline and Chris will now share their vows. And just like the codependency of the male anglerfish, I plan to attach myself to you and be absorbed into your entity. Since day one, you've been a wonderful friend provided me with an incredible amount of support and have become the partner of my dreams. I now pronounce you husband and wife. I'm lucky enough to be friends with Adeline and Chris. They are the most awesome people. And guys, I really want to congratulate you on your wedding. And I hope that you guys have a long, happy, healthy life together. So with that, it is time to give out the October 2023 NARBC Rattle On Awards. And for this year, I'm bringing on a lot of really awesome guest judges. And we're gonna dole out these brand new awards right after this. Zilla has everything you need for your reptile pets, from caging to lighting and everything in between. To see their entire catalog and find out where you can get Zilla products near you, visit ZillaRules.com. So this year we're going to add a new category to the Rattle On Awards and that is the Best Arachnid. So for this brand new category for the Rattle On Awards, the Best Arachnid here, I brought on a guest judge and you all know Tarantula Catch. What have you found? This is a tea Saladonia. You're like, I don't know what that is. I assume it has eight legs. So this was bred <laughs> by my friend at Fang Up Tarantulas. I didn't even see him in there. Right there. Is he in there? Well, you get you, you have old eyes. So you gotta get glasses or something. Oh, I see him in there. What'd you say? What? This is one of the rarest, coolest arachnids that you can find, and they're very friendly. They grow pretty big, and they all start off as these tiny little babies. So they're called the Brazilian jewel tarantula. Okay, that is a really good pick. Look at that iridescence on it. I love this guy. But oh, they're kind of pink. Do you see the pinkness? It gets really cool. Their, their abdomen actually has pink in it too. So it's like if you're scared of spiders, this is the best one for you because you can't be scared of a pink spider. That is true. That is very true. But what I love about these guys is it looks like their legs are floating. I mean, it looks like the black part of their legs are floating because they have that really light colored part that goes right up to their bodies. They can jump and shoot poop. They can shoot poop? Oh yeah. Oh, I love don't, them even more they? now. That's one of the reasons why I love monkeys. And now I have another animal to love because it flings poop. Best defense mechanism. That's true. I've used it quite often myself. They have to be bred in captivity in the U.S. because you cannot import these. So, so importation of these has been closed off? Yes. Because these are so rare and they can only be captive bred here in the United States, that is why it's her pick for that. That is why it is my pick for the Rattler Award Best Arachnid. Okay, well, it's Rattle On Award. Rattle On. <laughs> So let's move on to the best lizard here. And for this category, I have also brought on a brand new guest judge. And our guest judge is Kayla Roach from uh, Kayla's Critters. Kayla's Critters, yeah, and I'm from Canada, the from Great White Canada. North. And you just started your YouTube channel pretty recently. Yeah, it was a little over a year ago now. And it's blowing up. I'm gonna put her links in the description below. Thank you. But you are the guest judge for the best lizard here. What have you found? Okay, so this is a huge expo. I had lots of options, but one thing stood out the most, and I think you'll understand why. It is this Paradox Felsuma grandis, or Madagascar giant 
day gecko and something that makes it so special is its brilliant blue coloration but it has this like aqua turquoise yeah. blue and you don't see blue a lot in animals it's one of the most rare occurring colors in nature correct so anytime i see a blue animal i'm just like fixated on it for sure and i think day geckos in general are very like underrated right a hundred percent i love day geckos but when you have a paradox that makes it so unique that because there just simply aren't a lot of paradoxing to be found exactly. in felsuma that i agree you have selected. and i think that's why this stood out a lot too Absolutely. it's just a very special rare unique animal and uh the price reflects that wouldn't you say i say yes it's ten thousand american dollars which is 400 million in, in canadian, canadian. <laughs> Because of how special and beautiful and unique this lizard is, this is my best pick for the October 2023 Rattle On Award here at the Tinley NARBC Expo. For the best lizard for here. For the best lizard here. <laughs> So a lot of you guys have requested a new category for the Rattle On Awards, and that is Best Amphibian. And for this, I'm also bringing on a guest judge that we all know and love. Uh, what's your name, sir? My name is Joe. Joe Bacusco, right here. And you are going to give us the Rattle... You are going... Whoop. <laughs> and you are going to present the Rattle On Award for the Best Amphibian here. What have you found? I'm trying to... Fight the urge to shove it forward towards the lens because it's in water and it'll sploosh and splash. Shove it towards that lens. No, no, it's gently though. Gently. gently. Very gently. Whoa. And look, it's going to crawl right in front of the lens. Ooh, oh. that was an action packed shot. Oh. Come on now. Go back over that side. Go over, come over here. Look, be where look. you want to be. Look, it's a little oh, it's wormy. A finger. It's a wormy. Oh, yay! Yay! <laughs> Is that working? Can you see it? I have no clue. I'll find out in editing. All right, so why have you selected this axolotl as the Rattle on Award winner? Two main reasons. Reason A, I just think it's really cool that they seem to stay in like a larval state for the majority of their life because I can relate. Reason two is lots of nostalgia, lots of emotion. These things were one of the first amphibians that I ever saw in my life at the East Bay Vivarium, the shop ah, that you and I got to, we got to film, there. film together yeah. at my old childhood shop, yeah. and you can no longer keep axolotls in California. All right, so yes, axolotls stay in a larval state unless you do what, Mr. Cusco? Take them out and blow into them like an animal balloon. That is 100% not correct. If you add iodine to the water, really? they will then morph into an adult. They live in water that doesn't have iodine in it, and therefore they stay in this larval stage their entire lives in Mexico. These are critically endangered in their habitats in Mexico, and that's why... You can't keep them in California. Well, there you go. <laughs> but that's exactly why captive breeding initiatives of this species is so important. Because right now, we've got probably more axolotls in our collections at home than there are left in the wild. And these guys would be on a fast track to extinction if we weren't working with them in our homes. And I, I, I couldn't agree more with your selection for such a cool amphibian to win this award. I'm Brian Cusco. This is an axolotl, the winner of this year's... Gosh dang it. I'm Brian Cusco. This is an axolotl the winner of this year's award winning, gosh dang it, I'm Brian Cusco, this is an axolotl, the winner of this year's 2023 NARBC Tinley Park Dave Kaufman's Reptile Adventures Rattle On Awards. For the best amphibian here. <laughs> <Thank you. laughs> Perfect. All right. That's about enough of that.
so now we've come to the category for the best snake here, and I'm going to let you guys again pick the winner. So I'm going to pick three contestants, I'm going to bring on a guest judge, and then I'm going to make a community post on this channel in a couple of days. Keep an eye out for that, and make sure to vote for your pick for the Rattle on Award winner for the best snake here. And here are the three contestants. All right, guys, so contestant number one is this big girl. Look at this monster hoggy. There are hog noses that are huge, and then there is this girl. This girl is right over here at Chris Hernan Reptiles. Look at the size of this girl. Now, Chris, how old is this girl? Uh, she's like four years old. Four years old, and she's got to be at least, what, 600, 700 grams? I think she's 730. 730 grams. So this is an albino extreme red purple line anaconda, which makes this a powerhouse of a snake. And she is just absolutely huge, absolutely beautiful. When I first saw this snake, I knew right away that this was going to be one of the contestants for the Rattle On Awards for the best snake here. Just an absolute, amazingly beautiful, big, healthy hognose snake. All right, so this is Chris Jordan. Now, tell us, uh, tell us the snake story. I mean... So, I think, I think, the reason that she's that big is I got hognose snakes just to kind of play around and see if I liked them. I've only bred her once in four years. So she eats really well, but she's never really had to recover other than that one time from the uh, from the eggs, you know, it takes a lot out of a sure, female. Sure, sure. And so she eats regularly. She eats mice, um, and her and her sister were just both gigantic like this. You know, when people see big hognose snakes like this, they think, oh, he's overfeeding it. It's obese. It's ne this is not the case. This is just genetics. This is just how big these western hog nose snakes can get. So again, guys, keep an eye out for that community tab and be sure to vote for your pick for the Rattle On Awards for the best snake here at the October 2023 Tinley Park Reptile Expo. This is contestant number one. All right, guys, so I'm over here at Juggernaut Reptiles. You may remember them because they already won the Rattle On Award for the best new breeder a couple of years ago. It is so cool to give that award out to the best new breeder, come back years later and see how this company is doing. And this is how Juggernaut Reptiles is doing. Check this beauty out. This is the world's first leucistic blood python. All right, so this is Elijah. You bred this snake. Tell us its story. All right, so the original parent came out of the wild. I decided to name that gene um, the droid gene. It's basically an incomplete dominant or co-dominant gene. When you breed two droids to each other, you'll get the super form, which is uh, the all-white leucistic blood python. So, that is amazing. And you are holding the druid, druid. did you say? Mm -hmm. So two druids make a lucy. You know, to see where you've come in all, in a really kind of a short amount of time, just a few years, you guys have accelerated almost to the top of the blood python game, and it's so cool to see. But this is contestant number two for the Rattle On Awards for the best snake here at the October 2023 NARBC Reptile Expo. This is such an amazing snake. All right, guys, so for contestant number three, I have brought on another guest judge, Emzotic. What have you found? I have found this gorgeous female Vietnamese blue beauty. And if you have any class or taste whatsoever, you know this is the one. This is an amazing snake. And when it comes to the beauty snakes, there are so many different varieties of beauty snakes to choose. But I agree with M. When it comes to those snakes, the blue beauty is the beautiest. The beautiest of beauties. So what do we know about this snake? Uh, we know that they are not for beginners. Uh, they right. can have quite a spicy temperament. Uh, they do need quite a large enclosure. I would not say anything less than a six to eight foot. They do prefer slightly cooler temperatures um, and they do not usually appreciate being handled. They're much more of a display snake rather than a handling kind of snake. All right guys, so again, look for that community tab coming up in a couple of days and be sure to vote for your pick 
for the October 2023 Rattalon Award for the best snake here. Is it going to be this incredible blue beauty? Is it going to be the leucistic blood python? Or is it going to be that honking big hognose snake? Again, community tab coming up soon. Be sure to vote. So it's sadly time to say goodbye to another October Tinley. This has been one of the greatest Tinleys ever. This show just keeps getting better and better. So guys, as always, thanks for watching. And until the next reptile adventure, love the planet, feed your reptile obsession, and rattle on! <laughs> Ha, 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 ha.